What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode eight of Johnny Bo Dies. I can't believe y'all have hung out with me for eight weeks now since Christmas. Uh, this is a podcast basically where my wife bought me some stuff for Christmas and I haven't stopped playing with it yet. So, good purchase. <laughs> um, if you didn't join us last week, we made our first thing for our first client. And so far the results have been, or not, not results, the feedback was really good. Um, at what, what we made, it has not been shipped off yet because we've got some other things in the works. So my, a uh, couple years ago, my wife and I, I think when I first started with Natural Dye and I was all excited, <clears throat> um, I drew up this little doodle that just said uh, Nitty Bow Fiber Co. So if you don't know out there, um, Natty Bow is a beer here in Baltimore and I've been called Johnny Bow for a very long time. Um, <laughs> oh boy, uh, so I've got a, when, when my wife and I first met, we were going to a lot of baseball games. Remember when that was a thing that you could do where you could like go outside and, and walk up to a booth and then give them some money and procure a, it was like a little piece of paper. That, that they gave you and then you gave it to another guy and then they let you into a baseball game. Well, we went to a bunch of those. Uh, we were season ticket holders for the Orioles for a little while. <clears throat> um, and I wanted to get my wife a jersey. She didn't have a jersey. So um, I've <laughs> I learned the hard way in Baltimore that uh, buying player jerseys are a waste of money unless you're going to buy like, like an iconic jersey baseball player like Cal Ripken or something like that because uh, too many times I've bought Baltimore sports jerseys and then six months later they're gone <laughs> and you're like oh sweet I got a jersey of somebody that no longer plays here I guess that's any city with a sports team but seems to be more prevalent here um, unless you want a Chris Davis jersey because we couldn't get rid of that guy if we wanted to. Does anybody want to buy a Chris Davis? Any sports fans out there know what I'm talking about? He's trash, and we signed him for a very long time. Um, so anyways, uh, I go with custom jerseys that uh, don't, yeah, I don't have to worry about it. So Natty Bo is a beer that's been brewed in Baltimore since 1885. Wow, it actually left Baltimore too. It's actually brewed in Milwaukee, but Natty Bow and Baltimore are still go hand in hand. So I have a Natty Bow across the back of my jersey with an 85 for the 1885. And when I got my wife a jersey, I thought it would be funny because at the time we were going to baseball games and she would bring her knitting. Um, so I thought it would be funny to make her one that said uh, Nitty Bow. <laughs> and uh, that's her, her custom jersey. And then <clears throat> a little while later, Nitty Bow Fiber Co. popped up and it was just like words and like, a, hey, one day, but y'all, we ain't far from, well, uh, technically Nitty Bow Fiber Co. is official. Um, my There's no yarn on it yet, but my wife has done a dip the toe, as it were with uh, offering cranking services. Um, <laughs> we were not expecting to get 16 orders in four hours. <laughs> so my wife started flipping out a little bit. Um, and we did, uh, we, we totally did. So um, we were actually talking about it earlier that it might be a good idea for me to learn how to use the Earl Becker knitting machine because folks are going to be sending her their yarn that they want to get made into stuff and she's going to be either cranking tubes or making socks with them something so um yeah and it's not going to be long before some of the stuff we make right here in this little room 
ends up on there. It's not there yet because we don't want to not be ready if something good happens. Like, we don't want to get swamped with orders and then all of a sudden we're like, uh, <laughs> we weren't ready. We can't uh, do this for you. So, uh, let's see. Um, what do we... Man, it's... I feel like I say this every week, but we haven't had a bad winter in years here. Um, we've been like, where's the snow? Blah, blah, blah. But it seems like every single weekend when it's time to go do something groovy, it's snowing or icing or freezing rain. Like, right now, it's just straight up ice falling out of the sky. Everything is frozen outside. And it's kind of, I don't know, man. I'm, it's got me down a little bit. Like, it's much later than I would normally be down here doing this it's about what four o'clock in the afternoon and usually on Saturdays I wake up and I'm like let's do this um but I don't know I'm I'm a little morose I guess is a good word if that's an emotion um so I got to thinking and I was like let's run with that because every single thing that I've done for eight weeks now has all been bright happy making me bright and happy um, but I'm a little bit dark and, uh, not so bright. So let's play with that. Um, I don't want to end up with something murky and ugly, but I feel like I need to, I feel like that's what's, uh, talking to me today. Some, like, goth, emo stuffs I don't even know how that translates into color and I have absolutely zero idea of what co colors I'm going to pull I haven't pulled a single thing off the shelf yet so I've got some uh oh also um yesterday uh not yesterday last week's episode was my first time working with anything that wasn't fingering weight um and that was pretty cool, so I went and spent a bunch of money and bought, what, 20 skeins of DK and 20 skeins of worsted. Um, I got the worsted specifically for some crocheting friends that you might meet here shortly. Um, one of the newest fiber artists on the block has been... Uh, <clears throat> um, crocheting her little butt off so I'm trying to get her in the studio with me to where we can make some stuff uh it didn't pan out this week maybe next week but uh I don't I don't know enough about crocheting to know like what do y'all go for do you go for like mixed color skeins do you go for solid color skeins but I know we're gonna be doing something today that's not like super bright but we'll get it figured out <laughs> um also um oh gosh i don't know why i did some idiot shopping <laughs> and pulled the trigger on something because i was like trying to justify i was like i've got no music down here and pretty much everything that i do in life involves having music so I justified that by uh, making a rather big purchase on something that is entirely overkill <laughs> for this, but I don't know if you've ever heard of a, a boombox? No. Boombox? Boom? Oh, goodness. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? A bump box. That's what it's called. Not a boom box. Um, it's basically a giant um, Bluetooth speaker, but it also doubles as a guitar amp, and it comes with a microphone. And I've been looking at them for years. I've never pulled the trigger. And then the other day, I was just scrolling through um, social media, and you know how, like, if you look up somebody's product, all of a sudden you're getting suggested ads like crazy. 
um, a suggested ad for these folks came up and they were doing a special of get buy one bump box and get a second one free <laughs> which at the time seemed like a great 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 idea but I don't even know where the hell I'm gonna put this <laughs> There, right there is 200 watts of <laughs> of uh, Snoop Doggy Dog musical power. <laughs> it's got two 8-inch woofers, a 5-inch sub, it's completely Bluetooth, and it is loud. <laughs> but they had the special that if you, uh, if you bought the Snoop Dogg bump box, you get this little bad boy for free <laughs> so I have two of them but I am kind of disappointed because the article said that I could sync the two like tether them to where I could play my music and then tether these two to where like I could have them in different places and just piss off all of the neighbors um, but you can only tether these to these so I would have to get another one of these this is called the ultra and it would tether to that and make this louder but I can't attach that one to that one which makes me kind of sad man but I mean I I also justified it because like when we take the camper out and stuff like that we like to have our tunes and we have a little little Bluetooth speaker about that big that we usually use um, because usually, like, the time that we want to jam out and listen to music is, like, around lights out time, sitting around the fire or outside of the camp, uh, camper and all. But we've, since we've got the Outer Banks trip coming, yeah, we're going to be obnoxious. Which we've, we've been to this campground a whole bunch of times, and it's the weekend before Memorial Day. So we're going to, everybody's obnoxious. And it's so super fun like we 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 leave before actual memorial day um i think memorial day is on monday and we stay saturday to saturday and it's actually a really cool like transition because the weekend we get there the same people are in the same campsites every year so we've got like friends i guess you would say um so like there's people that stay like we get there on Saturday and there's folks there that we, that we'll know from previous years and all and then they roll out like that first Saturday night's a little happening and then they usually all roll out Sunday and from Sunday till like Wednesday ghost town we got the whole place to ourselves beautiful, do whatever we want, and then <laughs> it gets to the point where we kind of get like this ownership <laughs> of the place to where all the partiers start showing up on like Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday we usually can't sleep because Saturday's like all the weekend warriors for Memorial Day are there. And uh, I think that I would, I think that this big, all these big boom boxes will go a long way with those folks. So that was just like 15 minutes of me just trying to close somebody on justifying that I spent freaking $400 on a dang boombox. So, all right, man. Let me get my shit together. Let me figure out what colors are, we're going to use. Um, I've already got my, my Hanks soaking, and I've got double ties on the worsted weight so that I so that I can remember which one's which, because they don't look that far apart. I thought, vis like, visibly, I would be able to tell easily the difference between DK and Worsted, but that is indeed not the case. Like, I held them both up next to each other, like one single strand of each, and when they're that far apart, I can tell, but I don't want to take a chance of pulling out of the pan and then <laughs> not remembering which one's which. So, help me remember, double ties, Worsted weight. Um... All right, man. See you in a minute.
Well, I just had my first ever major 100% screw up. I thought I was grabbing the the true black and I was going to do a teeny tiny little squirt of the pre-mixed true black and I grabbed peacock blue and all those little colors <laughs> that were feeding my depression now have blue in them. <laughs> um, I'm trying not to go into panic mode because we don't do that around here. Uh, I am going to come over with a little bit of true black speckling to uh, to try to darken it up a little bit um, and bring that blue, <laughs> that peacock blue, I mean it ain't going nowhere, but to kind of darken it back up a little bit. I don't know, I don't know if that's going to work or not, but we're going to call this done and we're going to hope <laughs> that uh, uh, we're going to hope that we didn't just make six skeins of garbage. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let me cover this up and we'll be done in a bit. Well, that was not helpful <laughs> to my, my mood I talked about earlier. Um, I think I think I can pull out a product that I'm happy with. I think. Um I cannot believe I did that. I thought I was grabbing true black and I grabbed freaking peacock blue, which was not supposed to be anywhere in here. Um It's definitely got peacock flu in it, but I think I, I think I fiddled around and made something that I can, uh, I won't know until it's dry. Um, that's, that's my issue right now. But, worst case scenario, we'll get to learn how to do a die over. <laughs> Um, I don't think I'm in die-over status. I don't think. It's all going to come down to going through the process. Washing it, drying it, seeing if I, if I hate it. I don't know why. I had no intentions of doing the same colorway on two different skeins of yarn, but then I was like, you know what? I've never done a a big uh, batch before so I wanted to see if I could get something cool on two different weights um, I no longer know if I did that or not but you know what this has been this whole thing's been happy accidents and learning and stuff like that so worst case scenario we're looking at a die over which I, I'm already thinking about it to where if I take this product and then get like a light brownish, I might be able to dip dye it and make it look cool. It may, it may look cool. How many times have we sat here and, and I have been like, I'm going to hate it. And then I loved it. Um, but this one <laughs> wasn't a, wasn't a, oh gosh, too many colors, or too, too much color. It, it was a, oh crap, wrong color. So we were going all browns, a little bit of pistachio, some tans, some, some blacks, some silvers. And then that damn peacock blue, man. That was the worst one that I could have picked. I might as well have picked Fire Engine Red. <laughs> Just been like, oops. So, oh, 
Jeepers Creepers, man. Well, I reckon I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. We'll see what's what. Be good to yourselves. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I hope you're laughing your ass off right now, especially if you're a if you're a dyer out there. I don't know if you've ever done anything this stupid before, but I have. Um, I can definitely say that I have. So um, enjoy yourself. Um, have a a good valentine's day eve don't forget that that uh the little half naked guy with the assault arrows is uh sneaking in your house tonight to shoot you with romance hopefully my, my wife will enjoy her valentine's day i got her something but since she's also my editor and producer and manager and pimp and uh all these other things, should, I can't say it on here yet. But we might be able to, uh, if it's not too long, we might be able to do a little Valentine's gift exchange or something tomorrow morning uh, when we find out if we're happy or sad. I don't want another sad day. I'm not sad a lot. I'm not sad right now. I'm, I'm a little perturbed, and it's just seasonal whatever going on so that's enough of me rambling um enjoy the rest of your evening good morning y'all um let me first apologize for last night's video if you are like bored or sad or depressed or you're like uh be funny your job is not to have feelings. I do truly apologize. I was just, I wasn't like depressed or nothing like that. Just, I don't know. And then the, uh, the whole accident last night when we had two, on our first attempt to do two dye pans of identical stuff did not help. <laughs> so, but I, I woke up this morning, woke up at like three in the morning, um, because my kid found her way into our bed last night and decided to just kick the ever-loving crap out of me. So I got up at 3.30 or something like that and uh, and <laughs> I ran downstairs to take a peek at what had gone on. And I think due to my quick actions, I was able to dilute the blue. I mean, there's definitely blue. There is 100% definitely blue, but, like, I guess the light wasn't as good. So when I did it in the first pan, I didn't even realize it until I got to the second pan where the light was. And I was like, oh, no. But um, it's still pretty wet. I don't know. So I need y'all's help on this one. So here is what we made. <laughs> last evening sorry for my hangers i'll try to get them out um i was just kind of trying to play off of my sad bastard emotions that were uh were coming through uh last night um i wanted it to be darker so i don't know if i'm going to I don't know if I want it to stay like that or if I want to attempt a, maybe a dip dye on top of that to kind of darken the whole thing up. I feel like with the light, uh, I don't know, I got to do some thinking today. Like part of me is like, oh, that turned out better than I thought. And then part of me is like, you know what, John? Maybe the universe was saying, suck it up, buttercup. Here's some blue <laughs> to to brighten you up because I've spoke on here before about how the bright cl colors like make me happy. <laughs> but I was, this is still very wet. I was able to skein one up and uh, like you can see there's definitely some blue in there. But uh, I don't know. Like I'm trying to, with me not being a, a project maker, like I'm not a maker of any, stretch of the imagination like i i'm 
I can't look at this and say, oh my God, this would do this, that, and a third if I bought it and made it into a project. Like, part of me, one time I'll look at it and be like, that's just a muddled mess. But I don't know what people think. I may come in with like a, a, a brown, a light brown. Because if I could get some of that to come through underneath a darker color, I think it might be red. Or you just tell me like, hey, it looks okay, leave it alone. I don't know, man. Hit me in the comments. Let me know. Be like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tough. Uh, I can handle it. Um, if it's a fail, it, if it's a full-on fail, it's a full-on fail. It is what it is. But like some of that, I came out pretty cool. But there's definitely some blue in there. I was not going for blue. I was trying to keep the the pistachio. And the pistachio, when it, when the blue hit the pistachio, it made like a, a kind of neon -y green. But I do like the... I'm having fun with the pistachio. I'm actually kind of glad I bought two of those. Because that's what you get from the pistachio. That, yeah, like, pistachio color. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, man. I don't know. What's more important? The, I know what I wanted and this isn't it aspect or the, Because at this point, with the blue in there, I don't even know if I'll get what I wanted, even if I did a dip dye. But has anybody ever had something? Like, especially, I know I have some very, very, very good people that watch this silly little program. I don't know if anybody's had a project that they were like, man, this just ain't cutting it for me. And if you've ever, like, tried to dip over or uh, over dye or anything like that, but... Mm. I wish I could say, would I buy that for myself? Like, if I saw that sitting, I mean, I can say that. If I saw that sitting on a shelf at a festival or something, would I be like, oh my god, that's right. See, I'm not getting the, oh my god, that's, you've seen me get excited about, like, the finished products before. And this isn't doing it for me. Because at this point, I kind of got to think, like, would somebody buy this? You know what I mean? Because we ain't there yet. But we're closer than we were. Uh, the, the problem is, can I... Can I... Not making it happen, and happen, but making it... Can I continue to do my, my career job and turn this into something and juggle both? I don't know. But, let me know in the comments, man. Does it suck? How would you fix it? How can I fix it? Does it need to be fixed? Um... Yeah, it is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I hope you got all the things that you hoped and dreamed of. Um, we can't all be Chevy's husband and get, like, personalized ball-hugging underwear. I'm so jealous. Oh, if you don't watch uh, Chevy, she did a live yesterday and they exchanged gifts on live. And I don't know if you've ever seen those like underwear for the men that have like the extra pocket in the front. So it holds like your junk and all. Her husband got some of those. I got some, some thermals though. So that was pretty cool. Um, I will be nice and warm for the rest of the winter. Uh, my wife... I can say it now. My wife uh, got a oh crap a river a river for her her old backer 
Soconating machine. Um, and so far, it's going over pretty well. Um, there was... <laughs> I know I did a good job with my wife when she opens something up and the first thing she does is panics completely. <laughs> so, uh, she's right there, by the way. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> and that happened. But then she went and watched a couple of videos and then went downstairs and took a bunch of needles out of hers and put needles in and there's a certain way you got to do it. And then she cranked out a ribbed tube. So... I'm very excited for the sock possibilities coming forward, so. Uh, all right. So, thank you for, uh, for going through this, uh, process of learning, working through accidents, and seeing if we can fix our accidents. Um, I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day. Get your husband some... Some, some ball undies and uh, be good to yourself.